filter day. Woo! Hard to see, but this is the boy. This is the guy. We've re I've replaced the, uh, I've replaced the moon phase with the dope for A121S. Stereo multi-mode VCF. And I'm really just trying to figure out the controls and stuff for it because they're kind of weird. CFM, Common Frequency Modulation Controller. Process the signals. Okay. They're fed to the socket. CFM1 on the socket. CFM1 is normalized. What? What? Okay. Common frequency modulation one. That is module it going to the two. So maybe what I need is this. There it is. Yup. And then we can adjust the spread. Left side, right side. Right side, I've got a square wave coming from the same oscillator. Sweepable type. No pass. High pass. Resonance. Tom Servo, what's up? This thing sounds friggin' great. This thing sounds really, really good. Happy times. Uh, yeah. It's, I'm gonna have to, it's gonna take a little getting used to. Like, there's a lot of, uh, unusual controls. Attenuators for the modulation inputs. QMTM1 or QMTM2. What? 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 Dope for, dope for. Guys, guys, you gotta fix your website. It's like, it's like you built it on like 1999 GeoCities platform and then you're like, yeah, we'll just leave it. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. 
Like, it doesn't change the text size or anything. Like, if you do it on your phone, if you go to the Dope for website on your phone, your eyes will just explode because you have to read print the size of an atom. Okay, so here's the deal. The deal with this is... Um, level controls over the inputs and it seems to me like they go pretty high Ooh. it's got some potency man it's kind of it's kind of crazy uh so yeah happy happy times new filters are always good times um can't uh can't hesitate in recommending. Now, this is only a 12 dB per octave filter, all right? But, like, it doesn't really sound like that. It sounds like it's got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of balls to it, you know? Uh, I will definitely do reason at some point, yeah. I've been kind of not, not terribly enthused about working with a DAW, to be honest. Uh, but it's all cyclical. I know that it will come back around. It'll happen. Yeah. So, yeah, if you don't know, I am a, a music teacher at a school full time. So, like, that is an exhausting, exhausting job. And I've got a couple of other hobbies slash businesses, things that I do on the side that do take up some amount of time as well. So, like... And I'm like, I'm home, and I'm like, home, I'm done. <laughs> it's really hard to be like, yeah, let's stream. Let's do a thing here. You know what I mean? Like, it kind of feels like work. So, and I used to do a lot more. So, it'll come back, absolutely. I can't say when. Um, hey, Digital Crickets, what's up? So yeah, new filter, also new mixer modules. Um, I replaced my text mix modules, these three, one, two, three, with new versions, new new additions of the same module. Um, mostly because I, one of mine died a while ago, and I replaced it. It was uh, four stereo channels, and I was like, this just sounds better. It sounds cleaner than than the other one ever did. And I have a feeling that the first edition used some components that maybe weren't ideal. And maybe he's just changed the design and gotten better chips and stuff. And, like, just things just feel better now. Things feel less noisy. And for the price for these modules, it's really not that bad. It's like $85 um, for each one of these things. So I'm like, that's, that's a cheap expenditure. It was like, it was as much for these three mixer modules as it was just for that filter. Right. <laughs> Which like, when you think about it that way, it's like, man, that's an, that's kind of a no brainer. Let's upgrade. And then I'll take my old ones and bring it to my home system. And, uh, and then I'll have an actual stereo mixer set up there, which I don't right now. And it pisses me off. And it makes me like, not want to, so, what are we doing today? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing I'm doing. I'm going to reset. Can I just do a global reset? Can I do that? Is that, a, that it should be a thing. Right? Oh, also, I need to send this clock times four clock. Yeah. I was sending a times two clock up here. I was thinking about my stream on, I think it was Sunday. And... It seemed like the vector was, like, skipping. Like, it wasn't precisely being clocked. And I think that's wise. Because I was sending it, like, a 64 BPM clock 
but it was like actually half that speed. It was like a 32 BPM clock. And it doesn't like that. And anything less than 40 and it starts trying to like interpolate things wrong and things get uh, things get a little cuckoo caca to say the least. Uh, so yeah, pretty sure that's what was, what was going on. And at least I figured it out. It wasn't like something was glitching and being stupid. We're going to kind of go, I think, a little bit on the down tempo side today, I think. Um, although I never know how these things are going to actually turn out. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking E, E minor would be a happy thing. Hey, Trip Tilt. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we got that, our, that, our dope for filter in. I just, you know what, the moon phase just never really, never really clicked with me very well. Um, I'm like, it's got input gain controls, but the input gain didn't go up very high. It was just like, eh, eh. Um, I could see if you were more into like shaping and like sound generation, like that would be probably a good filter for that because it does do a lot. It has like eight different filter like models and types in it, and it is a, a true stereo filter. Um, so you could you could do some cool shit with it, definitely, but it just never it never clicked with me. And honestly, you can't go wrong with dope for. I mean, they make good stuff. So, all right, um, I'm gonna go and let's let's just reset parts here. Part two reset. Part three reset. Part four. I could just load a like a null preset, but I don't know. Too lazy. It's easier for me to just hit reset on everything. Um. So. First thing is a bass, and I want to use some ratchets. I want to be just like... Like, do some chance operations to, to flip it. Yeah, the moon, the moon phase is gone. Nope, moon phase is gone. It's, uh, it's in a box. It's right here. It's in, it's in a box. Hello. So, yeah, I, I might put it at home because, you know, could always use another filter. Either that or I'll just, I'll just end up selling it. Dude, look at these shades my, uh, my friend left, left here. I'm from the fucking future, bro. These are future shades. It's really weird. It's a moon phase in a box. Yes, it's wonderful. And now I've got like 4 HP, because this guy's a little bit smaller than the moon phase was. I think it's 2 HP smaller. So I had 2, now I have 4. 4? Four. 4 opens up some possibilities. Because I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4 HP modules here we could just kick up. We could add the expander for the Oct. I, I do have 4 HP left here, though, too. So I can easily just move stuff over. But, you know, I'm starting to think. We could add 4 HP or 8 HP. I could get rid of my clouds because I never use it. Um, so there's another 8 to, uh, to kind of free up. That's about the only space left in my system other than this stupid 8 HP 1U spot right there, which is like kind of annoying because <laughs> there's like nothing. Nothing is like 8 HP 1U except for dumb stuff like use an Ethernet link for multiple modules. I don't really like clouds. I, j I, have, a f I have an original clouds too at home and you know, mostly I was just using it as reverb. Like, I've got way better reverbs now, you know. It doesn't really do much in terms of delays. I mean, it kind of does, but I don't, you know. You, I do have the Parasites firmware on it, and uh, I don't know. That would, be, that would be a thing to play around with sometime and try to, like, learn it, be better about it. To, to me, it's just it just feeds back so easily. 
and like you're if if you're fighting a module, I don't like. Me no like. You know, it's just like struggle. <laughs> don't need to struggle. Oh man. I had a hell of a day today. My students were there was a lot of weird behavior stuff going on. Hey, Nick. Um, let's get a baseline going. Let's bring this stuff all down. I'm thinking a baseline would be really, really good in the chainsaw. Because, well, chainsaw sounds good. Chainsaw just sounds wonderful. Always good. Always a happy thing. Anybody's like, I've got 4 HP. What should I add to my rack? Chainsaw. Middle school, actually. So, you know. I had a kid ditch my class today. Now, here's the hilarious thing, right? Oh, nice. I saw that video, and I'm like, sawtooth wave, 50% resonance quick cutoff envelope or you know on, on 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 the filter oh yeah cool nick congrats man i love i love it i love it now i i assume you know if you hold down the polls button that it, you add 20 db of gain to the input so you can like overdrive the input just by like ee, happy red light comes on right just to like hold that guy down and then, uh, you know, Easter egg modes and, and all of the stuff that's in there. And they're all digital models, too, which is really cool. It, it makes me want to look into the warp core or the demon core oscillator. I have the warp core. Then I'd have both cores. <laughs> I have the warp core and the demon core. If you put them next to each other, you open a rip in the fabric of space time. Yeah. All right, uh, let's make it 16 parts long, though, because I want to go, I want to go all in. Okay, all my gates are open. So basically, Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then again, we're, I'm going to put some some ratchet possibles. So chance type. So what you can do is like, okay, if I just turn all of these guys to a double ratchet, and then we can go in and set like the probability of that. We can even just put it small for every single step. Uh, and then it'll just kind of, cruise along and go like dunk, 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 dunk. yeah if you if you do the the easter egg modes it it has a bunch of different like modes on it and stuff um I like how there's no manual. It's just all on the page. So, yeah. Yellow bank. Yeah, and you just hold that until it turns yellow, and now you have, all, like, the all-new modes and stuff, which is, is very, very cool, and it does, does a lot of different, you know, different sounds doing that. Phasers, distortion modes oscillators huh interesting that is something i have not played with though i have to say um yeah i was yeah that's what i was talking about like i think at some point they called it or termed it an easter egg mode i do also have a new camera placement and it's a little weird but it's there it's kind of off to the side 
Uh, whereas before, I had this really derpy setup with a tripod that's like tied to my thermostat and then a big extension and like everything was just like moving and jiggling. And now it's just clamped onto the case right here. Um, and I hope that that works uh, decently well. All right, let's get uh, let's get a gate going. And let's take this guy out of that mode. Uh, let's see. This might be a good opportunity, actually, though, to use the new filter for this base. Because I don't really have an issue with using a 12 dB filter. In fact, it has been said by others that you should not use a 24 dB filter for your base. I don't know if I believe that, really. Um, but it does sort of make sense. Um, because it has like more bass than you need and you tend to, you know, make something kind of boomy. I hear you. I hear you, bud. I hear you, buddy. Uh, which one was it? It was the CFM. That one. Amen to that shit. So there's the new filter. It's beautiful. Resonance. Nasty. It is. It is nasty. It's a, it is a nice sounding little filter, I gotta say. Like, I was like, damn. Damn, I'm impressed. Uh, for, you know, for what it is. Yeah, nice, Cal. I I I had my doubts, and I was like, eh, eh, but I'm like, a shopping for stereo filters. And I'm like, I think I have all of them. <laughs> I, I I I have the Zagreb. I have the Ikari. I have the Neutron Flux. I have the Popple. I have the Dual Dagger. I have the Morpheus. I have the Sem Twenty. I'm like, I, I so <laughs> yeah. Amen, Ian, and hey, Francesco. Uh, so there's our base. We're going to kind of go like a little, little Berlin-style kind of thing. So we need... We need a dull thump of a kick drum here. Let's get, let's get some drums going here. I don't have the Volt Freak, and I kind of want one. The only reason that I shy away from it, even the slightest, is because it is entirely digital, right? It's not an analog filter. But, like, uh, you know. Why do I care? Oh, also, I had a hard time finding it in stock. And also, it was really expensive. So, yeah. So, you know problems. Actually, I wanted to save this. This is a really long cable. Yeah, I noticed the uh, the PC boards, by the way, the, the circuitry on the back of the TexMix modules. Um, yeah, if you guys are, are coming in just now, I also replaced the master module and eight of my mixer channels with, with new modules here. Hey, Jojo. Um, so let's see here. This guy is going to go into CV and then this guy is going to be a trigger. And then this guy is going to be another trigger. And then this guy is going to be another trigger. And then I use up every single one of my small red cables just on the drums. But that's okay. Uh, no, I'm using Pam's Pam's Pro as a master clock. Pam's Pro is down here, and it's being distributed to about 20 different places. Um, 
I've got, it's hard to see, but this cable wad right here, some of this is clock. It's going up to this malt up here. So that's going to the maestro and to the vector and then to this Fractio Solum and then eventually to the Turing machine. These guys are going to the Melodicers and the SIG probabilistic generator dot sequence. So I got five clocked things right here in the bottom row. Um, one of them going to the subharmonicon also, which is underneath. So yeah, uh, one one clock module isn't going to cut it for me. Uh, and I was like, I could just get an old PAMS. But I'm like, eh. Okay. See, that's way too boomy. like that that hollow dull sound for this <clears throat> nice man all right all right we got our bass i'm gonna mute that for a second um snare i never know what to do with the snare snare is like i don't know that's not a snare neither's that there's a snare there's your 808 snare I don't really like it. What is that? Is that is that supposed to be a rim shot? Oh, you got an Aryan too? Nice man. Yeah, that's what I that's that's what I have right here, actually. Uh, I I was very, very happy with it. I mean like it was like two weeks from order to arriving at my doorstep and he's in uh where is he in like czech republic republic or hungary or something like that so like damn like it was impressive you know my next potential thing would be like a travel case from him Oh, yeah, that is. How come I can't change the decay time? It just adds resonance. Like, I don't, I don't want that. Okay, we need to find some snare samples. All right, so now. What was that second one? This one.
first one maybe? No. kind of like that I dig that can we now we can't really decay it any longer you can make it shorter that's for sure here that's a snare Hungarian mine is a great scale Hats. Seven beat pattern. So, the gates for the open hat are doing 16 notes, right? But the pattern itself is only 14 notes. So, you're going to get these little gulfs and these little places where things just don't meet up. That makes me happy. Um, what is going on for this guy? Uh, nothing, because I don't have a trigger going to it. So, that's officially my last... My last usable cable. Do I have a tiny one? I must have a tiny one. Even if it's not red. Guess we could use it. I guess. Yeah, one blip. That ain't gonna do it. Looking for something interesting here. Just something. That's not interesting. Francisco. Oh, hi hats. Never mind. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. Yeah. Sorry to disappoint today. I'm I'm kind of a, I need I need something a little more mellow for today. I don't want to take forever to find drum sounds so. though. Actually. Just that little. Hmm. 
What note is that? It's like a G sharp. I like the little pingy guy. You know, when I when I do these these patch from scratch sessions, there is a certain amount of like good enough, move on <laughs> that like you kind of have to do. Otherwise, you know, my streams would be six hours long and I'd be like going crazy. Um, so, all right, let's uh, let me see here. Okay, good. I uh, I had some behavior issues today. I had mentioned it earlier, and I, I had to send home a bunch of parent emails. So I'm waiting for the angry responses of like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare I? Well, be a better parent. The things I wish I could say every once in a while. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's keep going. I also want a, let's go to part three here and let's stop the vector. This is going to be a 16 note sequence. <coughs> 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 All right, 16 note sequence. Pardon my coughing. Yeah, man, he makes good stuff. Um, I, I would not hesitate to get another case from him. Like I said, like I, I'm i thinking ahead. I may end up getting a traveling, a travel case, something that has like, you know, closes up and it's got a nice handle and everything. Um, I think that would be a good, you know, alternate to, uh, to what I, what I have here. And, uh, that would be a good place to buy it from. That's for sure. So, I have two 84U rack brutes, and I don't think there's any way I would show up to play live at KnobCon with that. I'd feel embarrassed for myself. How dare you not spend $2,000 on a case? <laughs> you suck. Go home, old man. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, this filter's dope. This is, this is really, really nice. I'm, I'm really digging it. And then we can do some cool stuff, too. We can modulate, like, the, the span, frequency span. I don't think I want to do that on the bass, though. I wish the SEM20 had, uh, had CV for that, because it does have a, an offset frequency knob that you can use it to change the relative frequencies of your input signal in stereo. But it's not CV addressable, which is really too bad. Doesn't that be really, really, really cool? Um, all right. This is, by the way, is destined for the... 
let's see, what's the easiest way to get it there? This is going to the cloud terrarium. And the reason is I want this to be a sort of a high, not quite super fast attack sound. So we go to Zadar number one. And this, unfortunately, needs to be a different shape. Uh, what I really need is like one of these shapes does a really good warp. Like this one might actually be pretty perfect for it. Uh, all right. And maybe just go to where? Who want? Who want? Oh, I know. Dual dagger is a good choice for this because. I'm going to want the high pass to do a little bit of frequency taming. Uh, this guy. Bro. 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 Microphone's in the way. Trying to hold cables. Let's go submixer because I definitely want this to run through the uh, seal eggs. Mm, seal eggs. Come on, man. You gotta embrace your Asia. What is the structure 360? Is that is that like a travel case with a handle and stuff? Like Let's ask Google. I was looking at the 420 case at some point when I was before I bought my my old one. Oh yeah, I mean he can custom build stuff too, like by the way, have you seen the have you seen the Needham Woodworks cases with their new lighting systems that they've got in there? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> does the Oh, it does have a detachable lid and hand. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Well, if they come along and say, hey, you're going to play at Nobcon, that might not be for two months, three months. I have no idea. Yeah, man, there's a, there's so many choices. Um, yeah, he's got a new, 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 new lighting systems. Probably would help to actually hook the envelope up. That's what we're looking for. Fog, shut up. All right, tape delay, yes. Color a little bit. Actually, gonna go on to short. Why does it sound like I'm not getting any uh, stereo separation on those delays? They should be different times. Uh, Pong. Is that the deal? I think it is. Yeah, there it is. Now we got now we got separation. Which means that should that should rhythmically 
Enhance. Enhance. Let's chill on the feedback. Uh, okay. Now, which one of these... Let's chill the delay for now completely. Um, settings, mode, morph plus phase, morph plus wave folder. Let's go cloud, cloud oscillator plus morph. There. Amplitude, give it some negative offset. is noise, injecting noise into it, and then this is detune. attack and then uh, uh so let's change the part here womp 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 low e b d f sharp yeah Hey, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be the way to do it, you know? I just need somebody to help me haul it out of here, because I don't think this is man-carryable for one person. Well, no, it probably is, but I, I would not feel good about doing it. <laughs> and I have no cover, so it's like, oh, I have to wait till it's a good day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put garbage bags over it. <laughs> I like that sound. That's really cool. Um, I'm going to tweak the thing a little bit, though, here. User B. That's better. Honestly, the ROMs, the ROM waves that come in the terrarium are pretty fantastic. That's a lovely little bouncy stereo signal going down right there. Let's hear the delay. Yeah, Jojo, good call. Absolutely. I would say I am, but I've only really heard like one or two remixes by them. Meat beat, that is. Well, and let's not forget Giorgio Moroder, you know. Talk about your OG Italian synth guy. Anybody ever listen to PFM, by the way? Italian prog rock group. Really, really good, actually. Premietta for, for, for Marconi, something like that. It's named after a bakery. 
Yeah. PFM. Okay, I dig that part. Uh, let's start. I'm going to set up some subsequences here. I'm just going to make them whole note, though. And we're going to go trans, not octave, transpose on. Let's go to part one also and do the same thing. Whole note, transpose on. Um. And then we'll go like three and then like minus two and then back to normal. So simple, like up three, G major, D major, back to E minor. Yeah, man, PFM, and they, they had some English releases too that they like, I guess they kind of redid the vocals for them in English. And as weird as that sounds, those are actually better better produced albums too um they're 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 really good stuff i, I had a friend of mine who was uh, literally a friend of mine since preschool and and uh he he's the one that kind of got me into progressive rock back in the day and starting with like genesis abacab i think that was maybe my first one genesis and asia and then going more obscure from there gentle giant come on now Gentle Giant fans out there. <laughs> and hey, Surrealist. <laughs> um, okay. How was that sound? How does that all sound? <laughs> Uh, part three, we're going to go plus three, minus two. Here we go, up to the G. Yes. Yes. Although the first UK album with Bruford on it is one of my like favorite, most cosmic, amazing albums ever. But that's mostly because Alan Holdsworth is playing guitar too. He's just a... He's just ridiculous. All right, we cool. We cool there. All right, we're fine. Okay, bass, shut up. Um, more parts. Mo parts, mo parts, mo parts uh you know what i really liked last time i really liked throwing channels into the quad drum or not the quad drum the the t networks and using that like through distortion and doing some like really interesting stuff all right so that being the case let's let's do that i'm just going to use the sig to send out gates um, let's go a little bit of 16th note and then like quarter notes. Um, and then that guy goes in. And then I'm going to have to do some goofy stuff with the, uh, with the looping in a minute here. So I can fix all that in a second though. Uh, but this is all going to run through the distortion. Because if we can get some, like, really cool crunch, crunchy noise. I don't know if I'm going to need both of them, though. I don't think so. Let's just do a single out. So you can run the dual drive as two, two drive units in series. Okay, that's just silly. clock are you getting what is your damage here output seven. Oh, it's a double speed that's why 
<laughs> I'm like, what is going on? There's our E. Okay, we'll put these guys on loop and see what we've got. And Terry Bozio, famously, of course, playing with Zappa. One of my keyboard idols of all time is Eddie Jobson, uh, who was the keyboardist for UK and uh, played with Zappa and stuff like that. Played with Zappa when he was like 17. Um, also like a ridiculous, like virtuoso violinist. Like, what? Dude, it's not fair. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and Velcro some of these guys. Be a little bit better about this than often in the past. And this is going to have the added effect of exposing my, my drum controls too, so I'll be able to mute stuff easily. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I really wasn't that into Zappa either. I had a, a friend of mine that was like, he had everything. I mean, he had you know, a, a wall of CDs and vinyl, and it was just all Zap, like 150 albums and stuff, and like all of the live, and it's just like, dude, wow. Um, I don't know. I'm not advanced enough. I, I'll be honest. My tastes run a little bit simpler. He's just like, we're making pop music. Just kidding. Just now we're making pop music. And you're like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Or if we take this out of the second output and we do dual drive. Okay, I'm going to turn my kick drum on for a second. Uh, with the simple reason being, I want to time my delay. A little bit faster than that. And we get eighth note. There it is. Easy peasy. Oh, you know what would make this even cooler? Putting this through a filter. How about the cinnamon? Uh, because then the cinnamon has its own uh, insane quantities of, of overdrive and madness. And then let's, let's lash these cables to the bulkhead here. <laughs> Uh, hello? 
output. Oh, it's probably not hooked up right. It's never hooked up right. Uh, oh no, it is. Forgot input level. There's a there's a thing for that. Now we can use the input level gain switch and, and overdrive the filter massively. Need to set up a fading uh, chain kind of thing here. And let's get the drum fills going too. Let's cram some more red cables into this tiny area. That's a good idea. All right, uh, six chain. Four measure low. Six measures low, seven measures low, half note low, quarter note, random, quarter note, random chain, boom, channel one, chain, up, down, chain, easy peasy, okay, so this is an eight measure rise and fall, and my cable's not quite long enough, son of a bitch, okay, Trace goes there, and then we're going to take one of those and we're going to bring that into the into the FM here. skinny puppy very well but I do get them confused with snarky puppy and I can't imagine why to tune the T-Networks to like an E chord. There's a D. So we've got E, G, and D. Interesting here. Let's try something completely stupid and random for no reason other than it's there. You know that old adage, why does a dog lick its balls? Because it can. Our T networks have basically become a synth voice now. Straight 16th notes going from the SIG into the volt per octave in of the cinnamon filter. All right. Um, FM is doing an A measure rise and fall on the overall frequency. All right, 
let's stash that for now and we'll come back to it and we'll turn this off and we'll build some more parts here. Um, on a side note. <laughs> That's a nice filter. It's really, really nice. Very happy with it. it. Sounds great. Doesn't sound like a 12 dB filter. Sounds like 18 or something. Somewhere in the middle. On a more modern front, have you guys ever checked out Gomez or Elbow? Both. Both are excellent English bands. Um, I wish Gomez was still making music. I don't know what happened to them. They got a little big time. They all moved out to, or some of them moved out to L.A., and then the band just, like, fizzled. I don't know. It's very sad because, man, they had some amazing, amazing stuff. Nice, Michelle. Yeah. I can't help it. I have to try it. I'm going to do it once, and I'll never do it again. I promise. Michelle, ma belle, son les mots qui vont très bien ensemble, très bien ensemble. I always thought it was funny that they spelled that like Michelle, like the English version feminine name, but they pronounced it like the male French name version. And I think that's that just cracks me up. Yeah, dude, I think their main lead singer like started like I, I think he always had a drinking issue, but like he got some money and it just went and it just blew up the band. I'm like, God damn it, dude. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Ha, that's awesome, dude. I would believe that. That that was that song was huge. I remember hearing that on the radio when I was really young and having no idea what they were saying. It wasn't until years later when I had the lyrics sitting in front of me and I was like, oh, well, this makes more sense now. Mm, yes. Good job. <laughs> um, Okay. I'm trying to think what are some other like groundbreaking formative albums that I had. I mean, I was I was a huge Yes fan. So like John Anderson's first solo album, Elias of Sunhillo, is just an absolute masterpiece. And like he played basically everything. And like I don't know, it's incredible. It's an amazing album. You know, going oldie moldy. All right, let's find some new parts here. Let's get let's get some stuff going here. Uh Port part 4. How about just a nice 7 7 speed transmission. No, a 7 a 7 note pattern here. Transpose on turn those guys off later. <clears throat> All right.
Okay. Uh, let's let's patch this voice. Um, colors, 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 colors. I don't know what colors to use for any of this stuff because I don't know what cable requirements are gonna be. All right, one Zadar on this. We're gonna go plucky little plucky dude here. I guess we're gonna use tiny. I'm gonna use a tiny cable because I want to go right to. that guy so input I suppose I think Weston is a good it's a good idea and a good idea is a good idea um hello 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 oh I don't have an output plugged in I'm an idiot Outside the Chicago area. I don't like that D. So you are a Florida man. Just saying, can you beat a sawtooth wave through a filter? Can you? I don't know. There's just something about, you know, I'll bet you if we all compared notes and we were like, what made you, what made you like synthesizers? What's the deal? For me, it was, it was switched on Bach and then seeing synthesizers. And like all the knobs and stuff and lights, and I was just like, oh, I don't know, hit something. Hey, Jethro, welcome. Yeah, where's everybody from? Shout out, yo. <laughs> Sign through a filter, though, is not quite as su successful because you lack overtones. So you got to use like a triangle or. piano teacher that played switched on Bach for me when I was about 10 and I blew my mind I thought you were in Switzerland or Sweden Jojo or is that just where you're from and you're currently hanging out in France to have an LP of Switched on Bach and it was actually it was it was the like Walter labeled as Walter Carlos <coughs> I think I'm pretty sure 
um, slow 32 beat up and down channel 2. And then I'm going to take that there guy and bring it into the upper octave. Yeah, trip tilt. That that uh, that that's a pretty happy thing, man. We just got that in Illinois last year or a couple of years ago, so it's just nice. Like not having to worry, being able to just go to the store, and everybody bitches and moans about the price is too high, and it is. The business structure of it all is really bullshit. You know, it's very much like rich people moved in and opened up dispensaries and left out all the little guys. Um, but, you know, it's it's the Wild West, right? And it's only interstate. So because it's federally illegal or scheduled, they can't deal with credit. So everything is like cash. And it's all like in-house and they have to, you know, run to the bank to deposit cash. All It's, it's fucking weird, man. It's so stupid. Like, Y'all could just deschedule it federally and just open it up. You want to make money. You want to make money off of it? There's a bunch of, like, millionaires and billionaires. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, but crickets, you've got such a Republican everything there. They just, they're still into the propaganda of, like, drugs are bad, okay? All drugs are bad and they're all equal, okay? <laughs> Nice, man. I got a buddy in Oregon who's actually a farmer, a cannabis farmer. And he's got, I don't know what, a lot, 600 acres or something like that. He's, he's got a huge place. And, uh, yeah, you'd think, like, open it up, make it nationwide, like, state by state ban. Okay, do the thing. That's fine. Do your thing. You don't want it, you don't want it in your state? Then don't have it in your state. And just, like, just open it up federally. All the credit card companies would be like, yes, be celebrating, you know. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we I think we have okay quality control, but I think most of the quality control is done in-house by, by the actual growers. So, like, and the dispensers work with specific growers, so it's like you can't get the same brands everywhere. Yeah, Jethro. That's a yeah. My, that's what my buddy was saying too. He's like, it's not. A, it's it's a kind of a hard knock life, to be honest. But okay. So there's a nifty keen, little arpeggiated part and stuff going down. Um. Do I need the subharmonicon? I don't mind the subharmonicon. I had this idea for a polyphonic kind of like thing, probably using the R bar, but I want to do like pitch bending in it. So maybe that's the thing to work on right now. <coughs> Yeah, late stage capitalism is uh, is wrecking the world. Firing up reason. Do a little bit of a... Uh... Why 
is that filter envelope always on by default? Ultra basic. I think that's honestly, that might be all I need. Um, all right, this is going to be a slightly complex patch. Uh, okay, but I need to patch everything up. This guy's got to go to a filter. I think I'm going to use the... The new Zenutran Flux filter. Now, we need to bump up the input gain for that because it's always too quiet. Coming from the rar rar bar The rar bar The rar bar You know, the R bar Um, Okay. And then let's do this to a VCA. I'm going to need both. Or we just do it in module and we do this all in the Ikari. That's probably a good idea too. Ikari is becoming a, a bit of a favorite of mine to use with the R-Bar. Um, just because it's got a built-in VCA so you can... You can address either either the the filter itself or just the the VCA that's built in, and then it's stereo, so that saves me cables right away. Nifty. Nifty. Uh, let's bring this guy if I can. Okay. That's a bit much. Right there's the dividing line. All right. Yeah, you know, I was wondering about that. I doubt it because then they'd have to change all of the jacks around to stereo jacks. But it'd be pretty easy to make like a cable with a Y at the end or a V at the end, you know, on either end. It's a single cable with two plugs. I'm sure they already exist. So what I want this to do is to pitch bend downwards. So to have it be like, like that kind of thing. So basically what I want to do is trigger an envelope every, every, Two whole notes? Probably. Trigger six every two whole notes? Yeah. Okay. So... OK, 
Okay, now can I reverse this or flip this? Yes. stopping halfway through. It's really weird. Okay, so we're going to take that output to the junction here. And I'm going to take that and attenuate it, or vert it, attenuate it, and put it in the Volper octave. No. Hmm. Maybe I don't need that then. Maybe what I really need is to reverse it. Now, see, it's climbing up. So what I want... That's not, that's not working. Well, VCAs can also modulate any voltages. So, yeah. For me, I mean, I change volumes a lot with filters. Like, I, I, I only have four VCAs in here, standalone VCAs. You know, I can use the low-pass gate as a VCA. I can use the Akari as a VCA, you know. But, like, for the most part. And then the four mono channels each have their own built-in VCA. This is not what I was trying to do. Okay, so we need to go to flip this. Hmm. All right, that's kind of what I was looking for, to be honest. Now, what I can do then, I think, is I'm going to need to... See, why is it stopping? I don't get it. Oh, you know what? I think I know why. It's not getting a trigger. It's getting a gate, which means it's probably like stuck on a thing and it's not it's not letting it pass. Let's test that theory. Yep. That's the deal. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this Let's duplicate the trigger also. Oh, God. Uh, didn't quite drop it. It's like if it hits the floor, it just stays there. It's too far down. All right, so then we're going to go... Same thing into the D envelope here, to the D channel, and then that's going to go into the VCA. There. Oh, God. Hmm. 
right? Yeah, I don't like that. Pa. That's that's gross. All right, so let's switch the shape on the D channel to the B B0. There we are. Now, how timed is that? Seven, eight, one, two, three. Let's sync this. One, two, three. Why is it late? The fuck's going on? One, you should be like like every two beats. This is measure four. Yeah, it's like coming on like, I don't know, it's weird. Three, it's coming on like beat three of a measure? I'm very, very confused about that. All right, well, this is about the only time you're going to see me use this. I really want to dupe this uh, this trigger out into a few different places. There, just nestle him there. Like this ought to be coming at the beginning. Maybe I need to warp the shape. Part one is our base. Oh, okay. See, it's not synchronized. One, two, three, and two. I'm going to... Oh, my drum triggers are not synchronized either. Son of a bitch. How did I manage that? Slow. Four beats low. Four measures low. Six measures low. Seven measures low. Half note low. Quarter note random. Quarter note random. Chain. That should be enough. Let's just do this the easy way here. Start it. Restart the clock. There it is. There it is. Yes. Shrieking of a dying cosmic phoenix. And then what we can do is just uh, now let's use. I'm going to use uh, use an envelope instead of no envelope. I would like this an octave lower, though. That's kind of the problem right now. I don't want it to, to be that high. There we go. So now we got like... So it's starting a little bit behind the beat, but that's that's totally fine. That's Yep, 
that's good. Sixteen bits. Let's get this sequence dialed in here. Don't like that with the big gulp in there. Give me some like randomized. Nope, a little bit too space. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, okay, so let's let's re. I'm gonna re-record this then an octave lower. I think that's gonna be about the only way to do it for sure. So delete. Uh, fire up reason once more. Oh, I await the day where I'll just have a synth next to me to do this kind of crap. That will be nice. It's a space issue, if you were wondering. Um, it's just, I just don't have a place to put it right here. Okay, quickly, reset device. Um, oh. enough there it is except we need to tweak the knob a little bit to get this in tune because it's not quite in tune a little bit more just a bit more tight <laughs> Okay, good. Our bar of the pitch control is extremely sensitive. Like. Yeah, that I like. And now reverb. So a lot of interesting sound possibilities out of this thing. Well, we might as well give it an eight measure rise and fall as long as I've got a thing open and I have... Still like All right, that's gonna have to just do it for now, I think. I think it's good to go. I think it's pretty much dialed in. Um Yeah, that was weird having to deal with like multiple triggers going to the same thing and envelopes and this and that, like Jesus. Uh, okay, let me get a subharm patch going. Let's see, this guy's already plugged in to this FX8 on a stereo chorus patch.
this unplug. Let's stop the clock just for now. Did you just advance already? Oh, no, you won't because there's no clock. Stupid! They're moving from Asheville? Man, that's a shame. Or are they just moving across town? Cable, sir. I will say, you know, I was, I had my doubts about this uh, Zork's distribution strip, but like, I don't think I could live without it now. You know. Because it's, it's really, 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 really nice. All right. You cool. You cool. And you sound lovely because subharm. Um, how about some leads? I kind of want to make an, like a, just a nice analog acid ish. Dare I say it? Dare I say the A word? Lead. But. Maybe. Um. 
uh, well, this would be the logical time to use shorter cables and actually just use the 860 filter because it just sounds damn good. You know, it just sounds damn good, I tell you what. Um... This guy's going into the Electus Versio. It's going to be my channel one lead. Okay, you're being ridiculous. Stop it right now. Stop it. I just want you on clocked delay duties with some extra happiness. Okay? Uh... start on the seventh I'm trying to get it to start on like it actually an e would be good there we go Francisco, if you're still here, but uh, he had an issue with the uh, sub fatty, and his his filter was like dying. Like they pushed down on the knob, and, and the sound would just quit. And they sent him a new board, subbed it out, plugged it in, bam, done. this guy to stupid places spread control lots of voltage going to that can even do regen that would be 
fun, actually. It's got negatives. Negative voltage, though. Suddenly, there's the Versio. Okay, this definitely has some fun to play with uh, thing going on, which is nice. Uh, what else? How's about a second lead sound of some sort? Seems logical. And then uh, maybe maybe a special effect of some sort. Whatever that happens to be. It's a little on the loud side. Um, I think I'm going to go like... Wave transformer seems like a good idea. Then we can use stereo outs into a stereo filter and do some weirdness. Complex and saw could be fun. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm all out of I'm all out of yellow cables. Oh god. It's terrible. I'm gonna have to use a ginormous one. This guy in tune, by the way. Those guys are in tune. How about this guy? Yeah, it actually is. Shut up.
Mm, okay. Eight measure rise and fall into the fog control. Yes. Oh yeah, I, we, we were just talking about stuff that we wanted at some point in the past, and uh, yeah, the quasi midi serious was was always in my mind because it had a built-in vocoder, and I love vocoder. Supposedly the vocoder was pretty decent. Um, It also made me throw a little bit of uh, sloths or something into the mix or into the feedback. That'd be fun. Put some fast sloths. Yeah, I have a... Okay, let me make a list here. Juno G, Roland Juno G, Roland VR09, combo organ. Some of this stuff is like geared towards theater because I was I was playing a lot of theater, like a lot of shows. Um, Alesis Micron, got a Korg MS-20, the uh, Behringer Mini Moog, Korg Lambda. Uh, I have a Rhodes sitting here. I have a couple digital pianos laying around too, but um, System 8, um, MS2000 rack. Uh, I'm trying to think because this stuff is scattered. I have a Hydrosynth. Um, Uh, okay, how about some sort of cool special effect kind of thing here? Um, that would be nifty. So basically, I think what I want is... Uh, hmm. What I think would be really cool would be just like a... Uh, hmm. Can we do that? Yeah, we of course we can. Um, I just want a, I just want an oscillator into a filter, and I want something to just be like, just chaos, right? Chaotic notes, chaotic sound, chaotic everything. Um, the only thing that's not going to be chaotic is the length of the cutoff. Okay, how are we going to do this? All right, so I think I'm going to go this guy. This is eight whole notes, so this is every eight measures this cutoff is going to hit, or this, this uh, trigger. Well, gate. So that's going to be for, like, the amp, I think. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use a mishmash of cable colors, though. It's going to confuse people. All right. So, let's see here. We go in from here and then out somewhere. Channel 4, I guess. Submixer, because that's all going through the sea legs. Okay, what do we got? We should have just like a... Meow. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alright, now, the thing is... 
We're going to just like chaotically manipulate the frequency of this guy by sticking it into the output of the pizza. Octaving it down by quite a bit. Like that. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, now let's take that same envelope. Actually, no, let's use, I'm gonna use different, different things, different modulators. Let's use an LFO, first of all, uh, in the Volper octave of the pizza to give us some pitch range, uh, medium. Yeah, that should be nice, fairly slow. Or I can just use a slow sign LFO from the oct. That's probably good. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. So then here's the thing, right? We could take this envelope out and do something with that other than just run it into a VCA. I think that'd be a good idea. Like, put it in the Volper octave. Basically, every time that plays, it's going to be different. <laughs> it's going to be weird. We can stretch it a little bit longer, maybe. <sighs> nice. Yeah, not a fan of Roland's uh, cloud service douchiness. Doesn't make any sense. Like, do you really want to exclude customers ever? Why, why, why would you do that? There's a signal. Shut up. Ooh, spooky. Very spooky. Uh, I honestly, I sort of want to high-pass filter this. Uh, how can I? Can I? Yeah, you can. Uh, well, you know, it's not really making low frequencies at all. It's just kind of, it's doing its thing. Yeah, I think it's probably good enough. We just leave it.
was meaning to fix that, that camera angle last week, and I just didn't get around to it. better. Okay, synchronizing things, and I'm going to restart the clock. Make sure everything is all synced up. Actually does it. Okay, I'm going to unmute my kick for a second, though. Nope, it's not quite perfectly synced. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, I think we're good to go.
I know what you want. Which is this. Just face it. This is what you want. overdrive on it too which is lovely <laughs> makes my sticker peck out this is chainsaw of course going through it oh my goodness wait I want to hear the D Resonance. So the resonance, this is not a ladder filter. You can hear the resonance just at level. It doesn't take away bass. It's beautiful. Yeah, the thing is ridiculous. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. It's a happy purchase. Definitely a good purchase. Anyways, I'm off like a prom dress. Yeah, that's, and, and like compared to the moon phase, which is what I had there, like, come on, it doesn't even compete. You know, it's not even in the same category in terms of just absolute analog power. So yeah, definitely a, a good purchase. It's weirdly smaller than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. I guess I was just figuring this giant panel, like, that makes no sense, because it's not 5U. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for the compliments, and thanks for coming, and, yeah, try to spread the word, and, yeah, if I could, seriously, maybe once summer comes, that should make my, I make, make it a goal of mine to uh, get onto one of those those other streaming things. I've looked into the Golden Shrimp Guild a couple of times, and every time I've, like, tried to kind of get in, um, it was, like, weird, weird times, like 2 a.m. on a Tuesday, and so, you know, and I was like, like, I I job, <laughs> you know, and so, like, may over the summer, I'm a hell of a lot more flexible um, as far as that stuff goes, so it's a good idea, though. So, anyways, have a good night, y'all, and uh, hopefully I'll see you Sunday. Barring any unseen catastrophes, you know, which always happens once in a while.